All right, here in question 11, we have a food truck sells salads for $6.50 each, sandwiches for $4.75 each, and drinks for $2 each. The food truck's total revenue from selling a combination of 250 items in one day was $940. Salads and sandwiches sold generated $690 of the total revenue. How many salads were sold that day? Okay. So, um, Let's make it so that X represents the number of salads. And then we'll have that um, Y is the number of sandwiches. Sandwiches. I used to think it was sandwiches. And then Z will be the number of drinks. X, Y, and Z. My handwriting is usually, usually better than this, but anyways, okay, so the, the food truck's total revenue from those 250 items was $940. So total revenue is just a total money um, basically generated or made. Um, so it's basically just in business terms, it's, it's the total amount of money um, gained before like they take away like, you know, costs, costs and tax and all that. So we have the revenue um well we have two equations here actually so we know that if there's 250 items then we know that x plus y plus z is 250 because that's basically the sum of the number of salads plus the number of sandwiches plus the number of drinks and then we're told that the total revenue was 940 dollars. so since each salad is 600 is six dollars fifty cents we can find a total revenue by taking $6.50 times the number of salads sold plus $4.75 times the number of sandwiches sold plus $2 times Z. So plus 2Z because that's the number of drinks sold. And that'll equal $940. Okay, so then sandwiches and salads by themselves generated $690 in total revenue. So sandwiches and salads, so then X plus Y times their price. So we would have 6.5X plus 4.75Y would be $690. You don't have to put 0.50, you can put 6.5, that's fine. Um, so we have three equations and three variables. So this is, this is you're able to solve this um, without any fancy like, like guessing. So, so let's break this down. So we know that um, if 6.5x plus 4.75y is 690, we can just replace this part with 690, that's what this is. So we can write 690 plus 2z is 940. Solve this for 2z, take away 690, we'll get 2z is 250. And then z is 125. So we have the number of drinks sold. Mm, from that, we can go and then um, have that be substituted in as 125. So we can have x plus y plus 125 equals 250. And then we know that x plus y equals 125. All right, let's see what else. Okay, so now we can just, let's use these two equations to solve a, basically a two variable system. So let's just set y equal to 125 minus x. And we're gonna replace this y over here 
with this. So I'm going to write this down. I'm just going to write it over here so it's not all squished. So we're going to have 6.5x plus 4.75 times 125 minus x equals 690. And we just got to solve this for x. So 6.5x, 4.75 times 125. 593.75 minus 4.75x equals 690. Solve this for x. So we have 6.5x minus 4.75x. So that's going to be 1.75x. Take away 593.75 from 690. Oh, whoops, 690 minus 593.75, so 96.25. And just divide this and solve for x. So divided by 1.7, divided by 1.75. So we get that x is 55. If x is 55, and wait, hold on. Like, are we trying to find the number of solids or, or 96.25? Yeah, and then um, x. So, yeah, so then x plus. X plus um, 55 plus Y, 55 plus Y equals 125. And then Y will then just be 70. And there you go. And I, I now I realize why I was confusing myself because we're solving for x, which we so we're solving for the number of solids that so we already have it, which is 55. But we got all three number of solids is 55, number of sandwiches, um, 70, and then um, we already found the number of drinks, 125. Okay, so then you're asking, they're asking how many. Salads were sold that day, and your answer is officially 55 salads. Okay, so there we go. So I hope that helps. Um, let me know again if you have any questions or maybe have another way of solving this. Um, feedback is always welcome. And of course, give it a like if you like it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.